Hey guys. So I did a poll on my community tab and I asked you guys which eyeshadow brand you wanted me to use in an upcoming video. And the choices were Profusion, CoverGirl, and Maybelline. And Profusion had the most votes, so that is what we're doing today for this monochromatic mauve look. And I'm going to use the Profusion Mauves palette, and I got a brand new one from Walmart. And that is what that looks like. It's a beautiful palette. I think I had this years ago, and I had to declutter it because of its age. But yeah, this is a gorgeous palette. So I'm also going to use the new e.l.f. Pout Clout plumping pen in the shade of Busta Mauve. So you'll be able to see what that color looks like. But first, even though that's moisturizing, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil in Pink Quartz just to get some moisture on my lips. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but as far as my manicure goes, I posted something on Instagram about this, but I didn't give you the full rundown. Um, the first thing I used was Miracle Nail, which I get at Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and this is just a nail hardener. Then I used this. This is Beauty Intuition Nail Polish, and this I found in the Halloween, yeah, right, oh boy. Um, I only had one cup of tea this morning. Um, I found this in the Valentine's Day display at Dollar Tree. So that's, it just says beauty intuition and it comes in, you know, sealed packaging, but it doesn't have a, a color shade name. So that's the polish I used. And then I did an accent nail with color vibe and this is the called Glitterific, and this is from Dollar Tree. But when I went to Walmart to go get some milk, um, they had a Nails Ink cardboard display in the aisle on the way to the beauty section, and I bought the 45-second Speedy Top Coat. Oh, my God, this worked great. Um, so I want to go back now and get a polish. Um, but, yeah, this worked wonderful. So they have Nails Inc. at Walmart now. Well, they had a, a special display. I don't know if it's going to end up in the permanent section or not. I hope so because that's a great top coat and I would like to be able to continue to use it. All right, let's go in with my NYX Pro Fix Stick in pink, of course, with my AOA Studio high def brush and this is the F3 and this is from shopmissday.com. It looks like I have a lot of hair today. There's something about this black fuzzy top that I got at um, Forever 21. It makes my hair look huge. I don't know something about the contrast of the colors, I guess. I don't know. And again, if you're seeing me for the first time and you're wondering why is she smearing pink concealer all over her neck, because I don't know why, but this pink corrector covers the redness of the irritation that I have. It doesn't make any sense from a color theory standpoint, but it does. It covers it. And then I bought the regular colored, you know, flesh colored concealer. I got the shade light. So I just add a little more. And that gets rid of anything that is left. I had big red bumps on there too. And, um, 
I got rid of those, but I still have like just general irritation. I think I'm allergic to an ingredient in my tea and ugh, I just cannot bring myself to stop drinking that tea because I love it so much. But yeah, it's got clove powder in it and I think I'm allergic to cloves. So I may have to give it up whether I want to or not. All right, we're going to use the e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer for a primer today. Um, so I'm going to squeeze some out on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in with that same brush. I do really like this primer. The only thing is, um, you know, you have to do that so it makes it a little messy. All right, now I'm going to go back to that um, concealer cocktail that I just used. And I'm going to do that under my eyes. So we start with the pink. And I'm just putting whatever is left on my brush on the eye area because that is very pink as well. And then put the shade light on top of the pink. I order my NYX products from their website because when you go see NYX at a store. It's very hit or miss. It seems like all the more popular things are always sold out. So I just order from their website and I don't have any issues with shipping or anything like that. For a foundation today, we're going to use the Profusion Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfector Foundation. This is medium to full college coverage. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It has an SPF 15 and it gives you a satin finish. And I am in the shade Fair 3. And they sell this at select Walmarts. I would love to be able to place an order from Profusion's website, but their shipping will not work with the type of mailing situation that I have. I have um, two addresses. I have the address where my house is and then I have my mailing address because I do not have a mailbox at my house. It's, I mean I have a mailbox but it's one of those um, cluster boxes so the mailbox is not actually at my house, it's on the property somewhere, but when you have that type of mailbox, it makes it a problem when you get packages because um, certain carriers will not try to figure out where your house is and you know they don't have time for that I understand that and profusion does not ship to those kinds of mailboxes I mean they can't because only the US Postal Service has a key for my mailbox so if it's not coming USPS then it has to be a carrier that 
um, it get it just gets confusing. Oh, this is such a nice foundation. But yeah, they don't carry profusion like foundation and the other types of products at every Walmart. Um, every Walmart usually has a profusion section, but things like the foundation aren't stocked at every Walmart. But yeah, this is very, very nice. I just wanted to make sure it's blended around my mouth well because um, for some reason it doesn't tend to, uh, not this foundation, but any foundation doesn't want to blend as well around those, those deep lines. Okay, so for our powder today, I'm going to use the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Powder. This is from Dollar Tree. It's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. It's a blurring powder, and it's specifically made for older people. I'm going to use my e.l.f. powder brush. I don't think... Yeah, there's no shade name on here. I don't know if it was on the packaging or not. I don't remember if it only comes in one shade. I write down everything that I buy, like in a log. So I will check my log. And that's exactly why I write things down, not just, uh, I also put the date that I bought it so I know when to declutter it. But um, yeah, the shade is light slash medium, but it isn't written on this. I think it was written on the packaging that it was sealed in, but this is light slash medium. I think it, they have light slash medium and medium slash dark. I think I could be wrong, but that is that. Um, okay, so for bronzer, I've gone back to using my e.l.f. putty bronzer in the shade Tan Lines because this is just the easiest, most natural bronzer for me. I just like the way it melts into my skin and the application is so easy and I go right around the perimeter of my face and then I contour with it and the color doesn't look weird or anything even though it's a bronzer Okay, now one of you had made a suggestion about mixing the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush with the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and that is the perfect suggestion for me for right now because what I've been doing is putting powder highlighters on top of my blush. So this makes a whole lot of sense to just do this instead. Okay. Did I tell you which one I'm using? Suave Mauve is the one that I'm using because this is a mauve monochromatic um, makeup look. That's probably too much, but we will mix it with the highlighter and see how we make out. Okay, so I'm just mixing that together and then, oh, that's great. And not only am I going to have more of a glowy blush, but it 
going to tone down the intensity of the blush itself. So I'm just stippling it on with my new e.l.f. Total Face sponge that I got for free as a perk for being in e.l.f.'s rewards program. Oh, I like it. I like it. Thank you, thank you, person that left that suggestion. I'm sure I would have eventually come up with the idea on my own, but you saved me some time. <laughs> okay. So that's it. So next we are doing eyeshadow and I had gotten this Be Pure eyebrow highlighter from um, Dollar Tree and I used it in one video and I really liked it. So it's just this um, pencil that you take along the brow bone area and then you can take a brush and blend it in. I think it's got green tea extract in it. I'm going to put some in the inner corners as well. Yeah, I like this. Dollar 25, can't go wrong with that. Dollar Tree has some great stuff. Some of their stuff, not so great, but they do have some nice things. You know what? I think I should stop and do my brows, so that way after I do the eyes, the eyeshadows. It won't look so crazy. This is the e.l.f. Shape and Stay brow pencil. It's just a clear wax. Just run that through my brows as simple and fast as that. And then I use MAC Omega eyeshadow. I actually see a little hole in the middle of this because I use it every day to do my brows. So I may need to, um, this is just a Moda brush. I love these brushes. I may need to go back to the CCO and see if I can grab another one of these because I don't know how long these are going to be available. And if I use this to do my brows every day, I wonder how long it's going to take to go through one of these. Because this is a great natural brow color for me. So that strobing light that I had, one of my studio lights that I have started strobing, my husband figured out what the problem was. Um, it's the type of light that has a USB plug on it. So the thing that it was plugged into to convert it over to be able to be plugged into like a regular outlet, it was that, that thing that was causing the problem. So I said to my husband, well, why don't I just plug it into the back of my computer but I don't have any available plugs left because you only get four. So I have one from my keyboard, one from my mouse, one from my microphone, um, and one for the hard drive. Okay, so brows are done. All right. So we're going to go into this beautiful Profusion Moves palette. And these, in case you don't know, are only $5 at Walmart, these 10-pan palettes. And wow, what a deal. What a deal. Okay, um, I'm going to grab this um, MAC 224 brush. Wow, I haven't used this in ages. 
and we are going into this shade is called lovely and it's a lovely light mauve color and we are going to put that all in the crease you know I was thinking about this yesterday after I did that elf summer breeze tutorial that the way I did that my makeup in that video I used to do my makeup that way all the time and I stopped doing it um and I think it's was just like laziness but I really think it makes a difference and what I'm talking about is what I'm doing right now is going into this palette and picking the shade that is the closest to my skin tone and doing a transition shade. Now I was, I had stopped doing that for a long time and I think it really makes a big difference in the overall look when you're done if you do a transition shade. Sometimes there isn't always a shade that you can use that's going to work with your skin tone but if there is yeah it makes a big difference so this is an easy one for me to find a transition shade in because I do have light pink skin anyway all right we're going to switch to a smaller brush and now we, what we want is a slightly deeper shade to define the crease um so that would be probably ballad i would say yeah did I tell you the shape, the name, the name of that first one I used is called Lovely. So this is Ballad. So we're going to pick up some of that. And now we're going to define the crease with this smaller brush and get right in to the crease. So see, so you still have that transition shade peeking out. And yeah, I think, I just think this makes a big difference in how it looks. And I'm also going to put some in the outer part of my lids. All right, how are we doing here? I always have that blank spot there. And that's because of not getting any um, concealer and foundation in that spot. It needs something to cling to. So I need to be more aware of that when I'm putting the um, concealer and foundation in that eye area. If, I'm if that's what I'm going to use, then I need to do that. Because see, now I've got that little, little tiny section there that I have to just keep dabbing eyeshadow on. Okay, um, now I'm going to go back to my blending brush and I'm just going to buff out 
the edges here. And now we are going to grab a lid shade. Um, this marble shade, ooh la la, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Right off my finger. Oh, that's beautiful. I forgot how much I love this palette. Um, I did a declutter. When did I do that? Um, I think the end of the year. And I think that's when I had to throw away my other mauve palette because it was old. And, um, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that shade. Yeah, I forgot about the details on this palette because, you know, I have such a large makeup collection that I'm not using the same palettes all the time, so you forget. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. That is gorgeous. I can't believe this palette is only $5. Oh, so, so pretty. Profusion, you guys are awesome. All right, now... For a liner, it doesn't look like I grabbed one, so I gotta grab an eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in navy because I do like mauve and navy together. So let's put that on the waterline if I can. Because my eyes like to water. The second they see the eyeliner, they start watering. And let's go back to the palette. And take a detail brush and the shade that I use to deepen everything up ballad let's go back into that and let's smudge some of that along the lower lash line You want to start at the outside part of your eye and work your way in so that the bulk of the product is decreasing as you're applying it. Okay, good. All right. Get out my Wet n Wild Lash Curler. Very inexpensive, but works great. You just gotta get used to that crazy shape because it does have a very odd shape to it. So it feels kind of funny on your eyes, but it works good. I'm not a patient person, so I just keep going back and forth because I don't have the patience to wait. All right. And you probably already know where this is going because I did the navy liner doing my navy 
mascara, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Topia Mascara in the shade Ultra Marine. Start with the lower lashes so I don't get transfer on top. Yeah, mauve and navy blue is a nice color combination, but you know, like I'm always saying, navy blue is a neutral in my book and goes with so much. I mean, there's some things I wouldn't put with it, but it does seem to go with a lot. God, I love this mascara. I really got to see if I can um, get another tube of this because I honestly don't know if this is limited edition or not. God, I hope not because I really love it. Okay. Oh, I love the way this eye look turned out. See, now that's the difference that it makes doing a transition. Um, it just brings the whole thing together. And yeah, I think I'm going to start doing my makeup that way every time. But sometimes it's a challenge to find something in a palette that's going to work as a transition. And if you bring in like a single eyeshadow as a transition, Color-wise, it may not jive with the color story that you want to do, but we'll see how it goes. There's probably going to be uh, some challenges associated with that. All right, what does that leave? That leaves the new e.l.f. products. So we are going to start with, actually, how much, yeah, let's get some of this excess moisture from the lip oil off, but I, di I didn't want to try to drag a lip liner across dry lips, so we'll just take off the excess lip oil, and we're going to start with the e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in Mauve Aside. So I'm just lining, I'm not filling in. And then we are going into the e.l.f. O-Face Satin Lipstick in the shade Drive because this is a mauve. But wait, we're not going to stop there. Now we're moving on to the Elf Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen in the shade Busta Mauve. And we're going to use this as a gloss. It's my first time using this particular shade. These are so awesome you guys um i'm going to incorporate them all into looks so that you can see all the colors you know like each video i'll um show you a different shade i love it and I don't even have to wipe off the lipstick because it's the same color. Um, but the thing is, 
They're so versatile. You know, you can use it by itself. You can use it with a liner. You can use it with a lipstick. You can put it under a lipstick. You can put it over a lipstick. They're just so versatile. $8, eight colors. Well, one of them's a clear. So seven colors and a clear. The They do plump your lips. Um, the tingling isn't horrible. I mean, it's distracting because it tingles and continues to tingle. And how long does it take before it stops tingling? I don't know because, um, what ends up happening usually is I end up having a meal and then it comes off. And then when I do my lips after I brush my teeth, I end up usually doing something else um, and doing a different lip. I don't know. So I'd say maybe an hour, tingles for maybe an hour, if I had to guess. That's my best guesstimate. Hope you enjoyed this video. I love the way it turned out. This is a beautiful palette for five bucks, and this is a beautiful lippy for eight bucks. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to tell you right now. You can only get these on the elf website, but they are also on the Walmart website because they are coming to Walmart and they're coming to Walmart in February and they will be at other retailers that sell elf like target, for example, this summer. So right now, Walmart's going to have like an exclusive on them as far as who's got them in store. And uh, that's going to make it hard because, yeah, well, it's going to make it hard, but it's going to make it convenient too, because a lot of people do their grocery shopping at Walmart. But that's the skinny on that, on availability. But if you want them right now, like right now, you've got to order from the website, but I don't have any problems with elf shipping or anything like that. And the rewards program is wonderful. So that's it. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for voting in my poll. And, um, yeah. Bye.